And what Emu did with this disc was they placed different sampled phrases on every key of the keyboard. So what's left for you to do is play DJ and play them back in any way you like. Actually, Emu's done pretty well all the work for you because all the samples, all those phrases, they're all at the same tempo. Now, in the real world, when you record samples off a record, they'll all be at different tempos. So how do you line them all up so they'll play in sync together? Of course, the easiest way to change the tempo of a sample is to tune it up. Let's see if I can lock up this sample with the tempo of this sample. Slow, so let's go up a couple of semitones. That's nearly got it. Let's do it just fine tuning. So great, we've got our two samples playing exactly the same tempo. They're locked together, but if you notice, they're now out of tune with each other. Now there is a special way that we can change the sample speed without changing its pitch. And that's called time stretching. Now, time stretching allows us to take either a portion or all of our sample and stretch it in time. Now, our amount of stretching is represented as a percentage of the original sample's length. So, 100% is no change in length, 110% is say, a tenth longer, and 90% is a tenth shorter. Now, remember, as you go above 100%, you're stretching the length of the sample so your tempos go down and below 100%, your tempos will be speeded up. So here's our new guitar. Versus our original guitar. Notice how there's no change in pitch. Now a great equation to have at your disposal when you're doing, say, a remix session is your time stretch calculation, where your original tempo divided by your new tempo multiplied by 100 gives you your time stretch percentage. So for example, if you're doing a remix and somebody brought in an original tape, it was 115 BPM, and I want to do a remix at 122 BPM, you just divide that out, multiply it by 100. That gives you a time stretch factor of 94.26%. Now if you time stretch all of your vocals to that percentage, it will lock right in the pocket. 